Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I am going to show you how to cut a banner using your eCraft and the eCraft Shop Pro software. So the first thing that we need to do in eCraft Shop Pro is we need to set up a new file. Now when you click on the new project you get the dimensions of 12 inch width, 12 inch height. We are going to go ahead and change um, the height is what we want to change to get a longer piece of, I'm um, using vinyl for this particular project, and I know that my file is just under 24 inches in height, or length, as you might want to say. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put in 28 inches. I'd rather have a few extra inches to spare there. That way I can play around and make sure everything fits uh, nice and cleanly within the margins. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And so now when we look at this file, you'll see that we have a nice long piece of mat here to play around with. Now, I already have gone ahead and created a wall art piece that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and import the SVG here. I, I created this in another software program. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of adjust here a little bit. Um, my family and I are big movie fans and we actually just had the opportunity to go see Willy Wonka the original Gene Wilder version on the big screen and we also got to meet all five of the kids from that movie so I've got some souvenirs and everything that I'm gonna put in a shadow box and I thought it'd be really neat to do a little vinyl wall art um, near that uh, vinyl or near that shadow box so I took the one of the our favorite sayings from the movie which is so much time so little to do wait a minute strike that reverse it um, and we're gonna go ahead and cut this all out of vinyl now when we go to send this to our e-craft you'll see here that it has tray in front available. It does not have a roll function here and I'm actually going to be using some of the eCraft uh, vinyl from Craftwell which is on the big roll so I'm going to use it with the end caps and, and everything and um, so I'll show you that here in, the, in a minute but when we go to cut this even though we're cutting it from behind the machine we do not want to use the tray option. If we're using the tray option then it's going to try and feed in um, pieces of paper and we're actually going to pre-feed it. I find that this is the best way to do it with a piece of vinyl. So we're actually going to select the front and that's because we're going to have the vinyl pre-fed into the machine. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other um, camera right now and we're going to take a look at my eCraft and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. <clears throat> Okay, everybody, I'm back, and we're at our my eCraft right now. And as you can see, I've got a roll of the eCraft vinyl on the end caps with the roller attachment here. And I've, what I did with my vinyl, as you can probably see, is I cut off some of these edges, kind of made like a little bit of a V. And we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up into our eCraft. So I'm going to go to um, mode, and I'm going to go to cutting mode, I'm going to select roll, and I'm going to select portrait. And I've got zero tabs because we're cutting vinyl. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start feeding in our vinyl into the e-craft. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this the down arrow that's around the cut, and you can see then that it loads up into my vinyl. Now, because I just want to make sure everything is nice and clean, and I'm kind of like that anyway sometimes, so I'm going to go ahead and while I'm in this um, category menu of my SD card, you have to be in category menu in order to do this. I'm going to hold down the cut key, and it's going to actually, oh, there we go. It's going to cut across. And I've got my pressure set at 5 to cut all the way through. And you can see there that it cut it across so that I've got a nice clean edge to start with. And I just have this little scrap piece that I'm going to just remove. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and move my pressure down to two and a half is what seems to work for me and I'm going to go ahead and go over to my computer here now and we're going to go to send to the e-craft and we're actually going to select the front and we're going to select cut and here we go Now, the reason why we set front on the computer and roll on the e-craft itself is because we want to make sure that it knows that we have a continuous sheet going on in here, and they don't have a roll feature set up in the software. So by selecting front, it just assumes that you have a piece of paper in there long enough to do whatever it is you have designed in there. So. I'm going to go ahead and let this finish cutting and I'll be back in a little bit and we'll take a look at the final product. Thanks everybody. Okay, so we're all done cutting now. So all I'm going to do is feed out my vinyl and look for where it stops. And I'm close. Looks like right about there. I'm going to move my pressure up to five and again I'm going to have it cut and there we go I've got all of it cut so now I'm just going to weed it out and then I'll put it up on my wall and I'll get a picture of it for you so that's how you make a banner uh, in the eCraft using the eCraft Shop Pro software. Hope this was a help to some of you, and I'll see you another time. This is Denise from purplepaperparadise.com. Thank you.